Hi everybody, welcome back to the Quarter Acre Homestead. This is Matthew and we have a little homestead on a quarter acre in town here in southwest Washington. We're about zone 9 and today we're going to talk about apple bagging which is a way you can organically grow apples and keep the bugs and worms out of them and also keep the scab from forming all organically and without using sprays. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about apple bagging a little bit and then I'll show you the process. So we are just gonna be using standard Ziploc bags. This is what we like to use. There are different options. Some people use like, um, kind of like little pantyhose socks. Some people use paper bags. We like the Ziploc bags. Um, also, I'll tell you it's not, it's not, 100% like you're not gonna get a hundred percent perfect apples but we have done this for at least about three years and it's worked really really well for us we've gotten a lot of really nice apples um, okay so we have done this about three years now and have had super good success um, we have had a few apples um, that have for example one year it was a really hot year and we had some apples that kind of cooked a little bit in the bag not all of them but then the following year we hardly had any issue with that um, and we have had some earwigs get into the bag and like make nests and stuff in the apple which doesn't seem to hurt it um, but overall we've gotten some really really nice apples which we, I will cut in some clips and show you some of those. So yeah, let's just, I'll just show you the process. So basically we're going to put the apple in a Ziploc bag while it's growing on the tree. So your trees look kind of weird because there's a bunch of Ziploc bags hanging everywhere in them. Um, but you put the apple, it needs to be between a half and three quarter inch, somewhere in there. If you're a little later than that, um, you you want to try to get it done before the apple I would say is the diameter of a quarter because any later than that and you risk having the bugs already in or on the apple so you want to do it when they're pretty small between about a half an inch and three quarter inch um, this helps keep the coddling moth off and also the scab like I mentioned so what you'll do is take your ziploc and basically cut right above the zipper cut that green tab off and then you will go kind of about one third across from one side and snip just the zipper like that and then the bottom of the bag some people cut just the corners and I did that one year um, and I think the year when they cooked in the bag I did that and so then I I realized some people just cut the whole bottom of the bag off and I did that last year and it seemed to work a lot better which is kind of crazy because it seems like if you cut the whole bottom of the bag off the bugs could find their way in but somehow they don't um, I think the bugs may kind of climb down the branches and down the stem of the apple and try to get to the apple and this bag protects that portion and they don't realize they could go around and in the cut portion of the bag. So the reason we cut the bottom of the bag off is so that it doesn't get too much condensation inside. Um, it will actually fill up with water. Um, also to just let the apple breathe um, so it doesn't get too hot. So basically what we're going to do next is open one side of this bag, which is a little bit tricky because I cut the tab off and once that's opened we're going to go find an apple hi 
we're gonna go find an apple and we're gonna put it into the bag and the stem is gonna go right in this cut part and then we'll zip it up and there'll be just a little tiny apple right here and we have had apples that got so big they basically started stretching the bag we've had quite a few apples that were more than a pound each um, one other thing I do right before I put the bags on is I thin my apples so usually apples come in a cluster of about six or something and a lot of people will cut them all off except one I I sometimes do that but also sometimes I leave two because there's something called the June apple drop when a lot of the apples fall off the tree and if you've only left one if that's one of the ones that happens to fall off then you will have zero on that cluster so I like to leave two just so I have a better chance quite a few still fall off but we get a lot of really nice apples this way so let's go over to the tree and I'll show you what I do next okay so like I mentioned I like to clip all of these off except two so I'll save the two biggest uh, maybe I'll get rid of this leaf so you can see better so in this one cluster I've clipped them all off except for two and these especially that bigger one that's the perfect size about between a half and three quarter inch so I will make sure I have my half of my bag open from from the cut one side open and then you just put that over and then I'll pull this cut over to the stem and then I just slide this zipper right up and zip it all the way and that's it the apple will just grow in there just like that okay so they will grow like that all summer um, you don't have to do anything else and I will show you next what they look like when we harvest them I just picked this apple this is the first year this tree has had apples and it's huge we you may have seen on an earlier video we put these plastic bags around to keep worms off and it got so big that this sandwich bag burst out the bottom um, I'm not sure of the variety of this apple it's one that I grafted myself at a grafting class but I am amazed how big this got. So I'm going to take it out and weigh it. Look at that. So we'll see how much it weighs. One pound apple. Crazy. All right, so I think this was kind of a short video but hopefully that's helpful I know a lot of people have apple trees and a lot of times they think they're just bad apples because they're tiny and have scab and stuff which could be true some apples are like that um, but if you have one like that in your yard I would encourage you to try putting some bags on early in the season um, and see maybe maybe they will grow large and nice apples if they're protected so let me know if you have any questions and please be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And I don't think I've ever mentioned it before, but click the notification bell. That way you're notified anytime that I upload a new video. And I think that's it. So I will see you next time.